Leo, how you doing? It's Dharma here to do your reading for you. Uh, my readings tend to last from reading to reading as far as timing goes. And um, you can get the extended for this in the link below. Or you can join the extendaholic side of this channel and get them all unlimited. All right. So I want to talk about generations. You know how like in like an old house they have a lot of people have generational pictures on their wall? And I want to talk I want to talk about maybe even up to five generations or even farther that something has been replaying in someone's life here. The devil. Right. Generational karma. Is that how they say that? It keeps repeating itself over and over again. And it's like there's this one down here at the the one that's incarnated now, okay? And she's looking and they're like, okay, it's your turn to whatever. And she's like, uh, well, looking at the past, it just doesn't look like maybe that's the best thing to do. Especially if it's going to keep happening. Queen of Cups. It, it's a very emotional time. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Very emotional. Because there's a feeling of being trapped. Like she's got strings on her fingers. Like it looks like she's in charge of her own space, but she's not. She, he, whoever. This person. It feels like jail. But then I want to talk about entering the color. It might be a, a Libra or a Taurus. Somebody could have planets, could like actual planetary something. Like somebody might have planets tattooed on them. I know I do, right? But they. It's like when you get near this person, everything is like, oh, so I don't have, I don't have to keep repeating. I don't, I can do anything. And here it is again. It's like this person overlooking, this is like the self and this is looking at all of your past Akashic records. And it's like they're all the same. And this person is looking at a, from a higher image like, why am I doing this over and over again exactly the same way? I keep doing things the same way and they're not working. What, what is it about this empress? How is she doing it? Like how it's not it's not about being a copycat. It's about like um, she's an she's a muse. The Hierophant. And so it's time to go and there this person with this like hoodie on or cloak or whatever or crown or however, she's some kind of muse. She knows things. Okay. And so we're walking along doing this journey, really, really thinking about it. And it's like, I need to go and visit the muse. And so they roll up like, Hey muse. Can we talk about how I can change my life? How do I, how do I find the peace? And then I want to go back to the generations are not the problem, but rather the glue. And it's like, if you can bring these generations together. I don't know why I keep saying generations. I don't know why it feels important. It feels like, um, it might even be family ties, but it might even be the, if this is a, cause oftentimes with the four rods, we talk about that being like a twin flame card or 11-11, it could be your yin and yang and their yin and yang coming together, 
or all of your spirit guides coming together, but it's like this person, this empress person is saying, look, I, the answer is love. That's how you free yourself. That's how you get the abundance. That's how everything just works out. You do everything with love. Seven of Swords. I heard, okay, thanks, bye. So it's like they're told that they They're told that the answer is love and then they take off. What is that? I need to get a, let me get an Oracle card on that message right there. Cause that was a little bit extra. No rain today. This person, this muse makes you feel better. Make somebody feel better. They're like, don't cry, it, right? No rain today. They don't. Why is it the four of, or why is it the seven of swords? I don't know, it might be that I was going to say it's like the Empress might be saying some things that would benefit themselves too. It's like they're... Keys on a string. Let me get that little black deck. I heard keys on a string. It's... I, it's like, I don't know. It feels, that's what, I mean, I'm seeing the foxes. It feels like they're like, I need to go see the muse. I need to go talk to this empress and figure out why things aren't whatever. And then they get their info and then they're like, and then they dip. Abundance. Girl talk. The mask. It just feels like they're blowing somebody up keys on a ring. I told you. It feels like fantasy, except here's the thing. They're fucking with the Empress. The Empress knows better. She does. She's an Empress. Okay. And so she's like, yeah, I don't, um, It feels like they set some kind of boundaries, some kind of real boundaries. Why would someone try and go hang out with the muse and then because there's only one pentacle. I heard the goal is permanence. And there probably, it feels like there most definitely is some, like a Libra involved because you have the Empress twice and Justice out now. Wheel of Fortune. We also have Capricorn. We have Pisces, Taurus. It, it feels like if someone is not genuine okay that this empress is not going to give them what they're looking for i mean she's like yes the answer is love blah 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 everything will be fine i'm sorry that you're disappointed the hermit this person is just really confused. 
the one who goes to see the muse, they're confused. It's like they go and, and then they're like, hey, bye, and then take off, and then the muse is sitting there like, weren't you gonna, you know, I don't know, does she need to be, she just wants someone to calm down, like, can you just stay with me, can you stay the night, can you do that? Just wait. I'll give you what you want. Like, <laughs> somebody wants to take action really, really fast and start cutting things and doing things. And that's why I'm like, they keep going, okay, bye. And it just feels like this empress is like, whoa, you need to settle down. Or like they go, they go to the muse, like, tell me what to do. And the muse is like, you should, you know, do loving things and follow your own heart and, and have this like generational togetherness and it, it'll be wonderful. And they're like, blam, warp speed. Okay, bye. Swap, 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 swap. And they start cutting everybody. And you're like, what? Simmer down. You need to make it longer than one night before you start cutting people and hurting people, Ace of Cups, and they're like, but I know what I want, and what I want is her you. Six of Cups. And the Empress, she's like, okay, that's fine, but this needs to be done the right way. So, simmer down. Can we get, like, what do they, what do they wind up doing here? What is this? They wait, they simmer down. <laughs> they follow the advice of the muse. Just simmer. Okay, we have, we have an ace of cups moment, or an ace of wands moment. Somebody's ready to do all the things right now. And somebody's like, just. Simmer down. It feels like there's three or four generations. There, I said it again, generations that are gonna be affected by this, the 10 of Pentacles. Death, big changes. So get ready, cause they are coming to when Someone here, I don't know which part Leo plays, but somebody is getting ready to really go seek inspiration about where they want their life path to go. And then it feels like when they feel like they get the right answer, they're going to try to take off like a, like a, like a, like a cannon and get after it. And there is a very supportive friend here who is saying, you know, simmer down. Okay. So let's see what they do after that. All right. The link for the extended is in the box below. Till next time. Bye.